the Nintendo Switch. It's the ultimate home and portable console. A lot of us own it and maybe you're like me and all you have is a screen protector. This thing feels very fragile on the hands, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't feel very durable. I've seen some durability tests and it can take a drop, but you might be that unlucky person and have that one drop and it's all over. And you see how I'm holding it now, it's just awkward to hold and keep secure at the same time. Playing Smash and the Go, trying to dodge roll and everything. So the potential for dropping this, especially if you're in an intense gaming session, Szechuan sauce. Especially if you're in an intense gaming session, there's a possibility that you might drop it. What do you do from... What do you want? So what do you do from there? If you drop it, there's no protection. All I have is the screen protector. I have the product just for you. This is the Axe Meat, first of all. Axe Meat. <laughs> it's a great name. This is the Axe Meat Armor Split Protective Case for the Nintendo Switch. But on Amazon, it reads different. I'll read it word for word. The Axe Meat Ultimate Detachable Case for Nintendo Switch with detachable Joy Con protection and solid upright kickstands in black. <laughs> it runs for $14.99. And there are two other colors, blue and red, and they are $19.99 each. As you can tell, as I take this out of the box, you can see that it has a very futuristic look. It's almost as if I'm, I don't know, in the XFL or... <laughs> I don't know why I just brought up a Vince McMahon reference. But anyway, it's that TPU plastic. Uh, I don't really know what it is. If you all want to educate me, please let me know. But it is that material you find on a lot of protective cases. It's that flimsy but hard plastic. As I turn this item around, you can see that it has all the cutouts, all the vent slots, a uh, big slot for the game cartridges, and the power and volume buttons right there at the top but one of the best selling points for this is that it has two kickstands so you know everybody knows what the kickstands like on the switch it's, it's really bad really 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 bad one little shake and just falls down my switch has fallen so many times on tabletop mode but fortunately there's two and they're very sturdy and here are the shells for the joy cons and they are the same material little button there and yeah you know no shoulder protection but you know they get the job done and i guess it's all in the design factor of this whole thing on on how they're able to get the joy cons to detach from the case rather than having one giant shell i've seen a lot of shells that are like that and it's kind of a pain to kind of put it back in the console mode or tv mode but here are the buttons here is the cartridge slot i can access it easy and here's the vent and here is the power button working uh, it takes a little bit of more pressure to push on it because they're on extenders so that's one little downfall with this item but they do still get the job done i've had some that just are impossible pressing so here's the volume you can see me so the volume is a bit easier than the than the power but at least there's multiple ways to put your switch to sleep and let's see the access to the bottom here you go if you want to charge while you're playing there it is so let's put some protection on the joy cons it sounds kind of dirty, doesn't it? But <laughs> anyway, as I get these Joy-Con shells on, I can for sure say that my Switch feels far more durable than when it originally was just bare and just had a screen protector on. And essentially, this should just click in just like the main case for the main um, console to switch and I think the pink one might be off a little bit yeah there you go click 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 it all when asked me first contacted me saying that they wanted me to try out their product I was like wow this seems like a great idea but after watching a few YouTube videos from other channels this left side Joy-Con seemed to be an issue for a lot of people and I was hoping that by the time I received mine that that problem was kind of alleviated and fixed with this new batch of product that they have hopefully if it is a new batch but I'll try it out right now if you can click in right there that's always the problem is to pull out the pink side or the left side whatever color your left side controller is so the ultimate test for me after I show off what the full product looks like is to pull off that left side Joy-Con or that pink side Joy-Con for the viewers on my channel. So it actually looks really nice when it's all together. So yeah, here it is. So I was able to pull it out rather easily, but I will continue to try to attach and detach a couple more times just to see if it works properly. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break and be quiet for a few seconds. So it looks like mines can attach and detach very smoothly and let's see if there's any interference with the connection. Uh, seems like all the buttons work and everything's working just fine with the one I received. 
So one of the biggest selling points for this product is that it does have two sturdy kickstands compared to the Switch's one kickstand where as soon as you kind of breathe on it just falls over. So I just want to do a little test on how sturdy it really is. I'm just going to rotate my Switch a few times so you guys can see if the sticks or the legs really do move in or out. Uh, so far so good. They're just positioned the way I had them. And they're sturdy enough for me to actually even pull out my Joy-Con while it's kind of resting on the table. Try that on the original kickstand as soon as I kind of held it, it would just pushing the kickstand and fall down. But this is ideal for the situations where you want to take off a controller and share with your friend and I don't know, go to Nintendo Online and play Mario 3 or something. I didn't get to mention this when I had the console in my hand, but it does feel better. The back of the Joy-Cons have a bit of a grip now, so it's kind of, I guess what the word is, ergonomic kind of lumpy space princess that word every time I say it but anywho it has a good feel and overall this is actually a really good product and I think it gets the job done it protects the switch it has detachable joy cons so you can share with a friend on tabletop mode and those two kickstands are probably the biggest selling points for me on this product so if you're in need of a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh layer of protection, I have no idea what everybody's switch looks like, but uh, I, I could imagine some crazy ones out there. Please feel free to visit the links down below and check it out. Maybe this will tickle your fancy. If you're wondering why I always say tickle your fancy, that's actually my PlayStation Network name and my Xbox Live name. So uh, if you see me online, say hi. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload new content. I will see you guys soon.